Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana, and for this video, I have a beginning of summer book haul for you. So, I have been making a point not to really buy a lot of books this year, but there were a couple times where I allowed myself to splurge a little bit and just get me a little bit of something, and it's accumulated into a book haul finally so I figured I would go ahead and talk about some of the books that I've recently like received or bought myself so I'm just gonna dive right in because I don't have a lot but it's still a good number the first book I have is Heart of Your World by Abby Jimenez I know this is an age gap and I know this is one of her more popular books which is why I grabbed it I have heard so many people rave about her books so I wanted to check it out and see if she could be an author for me or like an author I enjoy so I just went ahead and grabbed her like most popular book and I'm hoping that I will like it all I know is that it is an age gap romance and that's kind of all I want to know next uh, Barnes Noble was doing a sale so I went ahead and snagged the paper Quebec copies of Guild and Glint um, listen I know I might have some other copies on my shelves you may have seen on my channel we're gonna ignore that. The hardcover editions are white and these paperback ones are black and so I really love that which is why I snagged them. Um, but this is the King Midas retelling and it follows the girl that is King Midas's favorite. Yeah it's just a really good time. I highly recommend. Um, the last book is coming out this year in the series so this is your time to catch up if you would like to do that. Um, I might do a little reread before the last book but I also still have to finish gold so all right next I received from Simon Teen Morgan Matson's new book The Ballad of Darcy and Russell I got the arc and then they sent me a finished copy which thank you to them for that um I really love Morgan Matson. she was one of my favorite YA authors and so I'm excited to check out her new book um and see if it's my cup of tea I believe it's a like a maybe love at first sight or the question it's a questionable love at first sight romance where this girl I think gets stranded at a music festival with this guy like they like miss the last bus home so they have to walk together and in doing so they're answering the question is like can you fall in love with someone in one night essentially um so it sounds really fun it's summer so it it's, gives me summer vibes with the music festival and everything so I'm definitely intrigued to check this out the next book I received was from, I believe, Penguin Books, Penguin Teen, and that was The Sky is Everywhere by John D. Nelson. Um, I read her other book, uh, I'll Give You the Sun, and I enjoyed it, so I'm intrigued to check this one out, too. Next, a good chunk of these are sequels or books that I've already read. But this one is a sequel that I wasn't sure if I was going to pick up or not until I saw it <laughs> on the shelf. And that is The Midnight Kingdom by Tara Sim. This is the sequel to sit The City of Dusk. And I believe I gave that like three to four stars between that range. And I thought it was pretty good. Um, so I'm intrigued enough to check out the second book and see if I still enjoy the series. It's really thick, so I will definitely be getting the audiobook. <laughs> Alright, so I've been on a non-fiction kick this year, which I have somewhat enjoyed, and I recently watched um, the movie Origins by Ava DuBernay, which is based off of the uh, uh, Isabel Wilkerson, who is a non-fiction author. She wrote the book Cast, and the movie is about her time while writing that book and her research and everything that went into it. So because of that movie, because I loved it so much, I actually went ahead and I snagged Cast, which I am working through now. And I also snagged her other book, which is The Warmth of Other Suns. Um, Cast is essentially her um, talking about like caste systems throughout the world and how caste systems are the things, the thing that connects American slavery in the South, the Holocaust, and India and how all three caste systems are very similar though the cultures are different and I just so far have really enjoyed reading this and I'm just looking forward to finishing it and see what, what other gems she drops in into my mind and then this one I believe just follows um, the American slavery in the south and the like migration in that instance so 
again, I'm really intrigued to check out her works. Alright, next, Simon Teen also sent me Powerful, which is a novella of the Powerless series if that's going to be a series. So Powerless was the first book and then this is um, not the second book but it's kind of just like a little short story based off of one of the characters you meet in the first book. So I'm intrigued to check it out and to see what it could add to um, the world and my understanding of the story overall. So thank you to Seventeen for sending me this. Alright, next I snagged Wild Love by Elsie Silver. Um, this is her new book. And it's kind of like a spin-off of her other series because it follows... If you ever read Heartless, it follows the brother of the main girl, Willa, in that book. And so in this book, it's also like a single dad romance, essentially. And um, it follows as he moves in to this small town that he's always loved, finds out he is a father, and then he potentially falls in love with his uh, best friend's little sister. And then the other book that I snagged by Elsie Silver was Heartless. This is my favorite book in the series because it's, again, it follows uh, Willa and Cade Easton, who, Eaton, who is a single dad, and so she uh, ends up being his nanny for the summer, and then ultimately they fall in love. Next, I also snagged The Blood Trials by N.E. Davenport. Um, I have been eyeing this book for a while since its release, so I'm finally glad that I got my hands on it and that I actually read it and I loved it. So, I am potentially about to buy the second book as well. But I did snag this, loved it. Um, it's about a girl who has to find out um, the truth behind her grandfather's murder while also surviving the military trials that she has to partake in in order to um, basically pr be promoted or accepted into military service within her kingdom. Alright, the next book I grabbed was A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. So she did Divine Rivals. I read the first book and I really enjoyed Divine Rivals. Uh, I haven't read the second one yet, but I figured I wanted to check out some of her other stuff, so I went ahead and snagged this because I feel like I've heard good things about it for the most part. And I figured I would check her out and see if she has another book I would enjoy. And then the next book I got was What Moves the Dead by T. King Fisher. So I really loved Nettle and Bone by this author. And I was really surprised because I feel like they write more like weird, grotesque horror books. But I enjoyed Nettle and Bone. So I want to check this out and see if I could enjoy it as well. I'm not really a horror person. But for T. King Fisher, I'm willing to give it a try and see if I enjoy it. Next book I snagged was When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. So I had been seeing this everywhere. When I saw it on the shelves, I snagged it. I don't really know what this is about. I just know that it features dragons. And ever since I read Fourth Wing, I've been just on a dragon kick. So I've been just trying to pick up any type of book I could with dragons because I realized that they are a trope I enjoy and it's something new I discovered. But next I also got the Last Dragon King, um, again, saw this, had dragon in the title, <laughs> I would like to give it a chance and see if I like it. I believe this is a YA, I could be wrong though, but this was in the YA section when I picked it up, so, again, don't know what's what it's about, but I kind of want to go in blind with this one, because I feel like it could potentially be good, it's not, it doesn't, it's not even that big, so, so, almost done we have two more books so the next book i snagged was a vicious game by uh melissa blair this is the third book in the halfling saga i've already read this but i wanted my own copy so i could like put it with the rest of the series um i enjoyed this series so much i am kind of sad that it's about to be finished i think there's only four books and i think the fourth book is coming out the end of this year or like this year at some point I can't remember when exactly. Maybe in the fall. But this follows a girl who lives in a kingdom where halflings like her are basically enslaved or made to serve the king. And so she has been made to serve the king as his blade or top assassin for a really long time. And she's basically just given up on fighting it and developed a habit as an alcoholic and 
all that kind of stuff. And so it's not until she gets reintroduced to the rebellion that she kind of finds the will to fight back again. And so it's about her journey as she like fights against this king and figures out um, her drive and her motivation again and along the way potentially falls in love. It's a fun story. I really like it. If you want a book with like a badass character, this is the book for you because our main character is like truly badass. She's always fighting. She fights for herself. She fights for people she loves. And I just love it. All right. And then the last book I have on this list is Funny Story by Emily Henry. I already read this, loved it so much, but I wanted to get my copy because I just love Emily Henry and I've liked all her books so far. So I just want to continue my collection in snagging her books. This is a about a girl, a lady who her fiance basically dumps her and leaves her for his best friend. So she ends up moving in with the best friend's ex. And so they end up basically commiserating on the fact that they were left by their mutual partners who ended up together. And from there, um, she starts to figure out who she is outside of this relationship and they fall in love. And I honestly thought it was very cute. So, all right. So that is my beginning of summer haul. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed this. I have read a good chunk of these books, so that's good, I guess. If there's any books that are on your radar for the summer that are coming out, also let me know because I'll put it on my radar. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You guys are all sunflowers in the world for a week.